Hello, this is going to be an introductory video to the electric eel wheel, which is an electric spinning wheel that Emily, my wife, and I have created. So uh, in this video, we're going to go over the basic operation and how to get started with the electric eel wheel. There's definitely other guides that go more into depth, like the build guide and the user manual for um, that sort of thing. But uh, this should show you all of the information that you need to get started using your electric eel wheel. Okay, so now your electric eel wheel has just arrived in the mail and here's what you can do with it. First we'll start off with the main component. We have a forward and reverse dial. We've got a place to park your yarn. In the back of it we've got the place you can connect a cable to turn it on and off and we have a power cord connection. So here's how you'll set it up. Um, you've got a bobbin and a flyer that come with it. You're going to put the bobbin on and the pulley is going to be on the back side. You're going to make sure you you're going to make sure the cable is connected to the pulley and you're going to slide this in here. this way and you're going to roll this on and here's your tension cable which you're going to put on this pulley in the back of your bobbin and you're going to wind it up so it's not too tight not too loose. Um, next I'm going to connect the on off pedal in the back this goes in here and then we're going to connect the power because it is an electric eel wheel and I'll just show you from the tabletop that you can turn this on using one click and you can quickly turn it off so that's really nice if you want to free up your hands for something else so uh, finally I would say to add a drop of oil to this part of the bobbin and the back side of the bobbin for smooth and fast spinning. This roving is so soft, I cannot wait to spin it. So let me show you how to get the electric elo going so you can spin your own yarn. So first of all, you need to have a lead yarn because you've got to get it from there to here. So I just make a piece of yarn with two loops on the end. I'm going to put it around the bobbin and because it's really slippery I like to use a piece of tape to secure my lead yarn here. I've got a yarn hook. I'm going to use that to get my yarn through. So put it here. This one is going to move and slide back and forth along your bobbin. You have to do this yourself manually so that your yarn will be smooth across your bobbin. This one stays stationary so it holds it from getting caught on the bobbin. And then I'm going to hook this through here. Both sides have loops on them to keep your flyer balanced. So I'm going to pick a beautiful color from my yarn. I'm going to start with the blue and purple end. So I'm just going to feed that through there and that's usually a good way to start yarn. So if you're unsure of how this is going to work, you can start it really slow and I'm going to use the pedal to click it on. So as you can see, that's pretty slow. I'm going to speed it up. Something else you want to be concerned with, it's not pulling in, it's just sitting there. You want your yarn to pull and twist at a good ratio. So I'm going to start adjusting that, tightening it, and now I can feel some resistance on my yarn. So here it goes, it's being pulled in. 
but it's going kind of slow. I want to speed it up a little bit. So you're just going to speed it up and let it pull in until you find your sweet spot that you could sit at and spin for hours and hours. Now the good thing about having a pedal is that if you need to stop for any reason, you can just click it off. And what I'm going to do is park my yarn so I don't have to grab, keep grabbing it. I'm just going to wrap it around there and then all set for next time.